Y band's not happy. So how long does it take to do a mega squirt? A long time. <laughs> Six months. Six. Hasn't been running. In reality, you know these guys that say, "Oh, I did it! I did it in a weekend." Yeah, yeah. Haven't yeah. driven it in ten months. You, you don't have children. You uh, had it all built before you did it. Yep. You know. So. Well, this is all but custom the linkage looks like it's working good though. It's flawless too. Grab a hold of it and turn. Um, uh, got my hands full, unfortunately. So would you never buy a Berg again? You're just going to buy that for now on? I think it works just as good as a Berg. Yeah. I'm amazed. It looks so frail to me. It does. But stainless steel rod. Still frail. Yeah. You know, diameter to stainless me. Stainless steel is frail in itself. Mm -hmm. you Unless you want to try and take a torch and cut it. <laughs> I just keep passing my Berg linkage out to other people. Yes, I got it now. All the big wires, the vacuum log. Cannon plugs, coil packs. What goes to the uh, two ports over on the driver's side there? That, for the, it's supposed uh, to be an idle air controller, but I don't think I'm going to hook it up. Ah, okay, in case you ever decide to throw an air conditioner in there. Yeah, but apparently it's a lot harder with four barrels than it would be with one throttle body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now okay. it's just a pretty looking aluminum block with two fittings coming out of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you could mount the, uh, no, you can't. That's about so you could mount a compressor underneath the car somewhere, but probably not. I'm going to put a 1600 sticker on it. Here's what I <laughs> It's looking good, though. Work in progress. Oh, though. yeah. Well. You're moving to another house. So you've, <laughs> you've, uh, definitely gone in uncharted territories here with all the, uh, electronics. Not me. Nope. It's got <laughs> Not more me. sensors. You can, it's got a... It's and you built the wiring harness control. and everything. You did it all, man. That's that's crazy. I did it all. So. Matt, don't you see how easy it is to tune? <laughs> you, you You've seen how easy mine is. Yeah. Here's Dude, the here's the neat, here's the neat <laughs> thing. I don't even need yeah. a laptop. I just need, need concrete. Need, yeah. I can do it that way. You don't even need, <laughs> need to leave the driver's seat. Or I mean, yeah, this is this is ultimately the better way. I will admit. Just I like dead simple. John, John was like uh, simple. John was saying how cool it was. You get to the strip. You know, you got your mile per gallon tune. You hit the button on the dash, and it mm -hmm. goes to instant right, race tune. Animal mode. <laughs> well, <laughs> if <laughs> if you wanted to, you could put two fuel systems in it, two pumps, and you can... You can a fuel cell on top yeah. of the fuel tank. You can put a fuel cell up there and put like E85 in it, or you could put race gas in it and all that stuff. So the mechanic says you could just put it right in the tank. Well, his has the sensor in it. Yeah. But you, it takes, have you seen him, how much it takes to get that ethanol up? Like, he'll drive his truck, and um, it will have like a quarter of a tank, and he'll fill the whole sucker up, right? And the gas stations, they say it's E85, but sometimes it's like E30. And he'll fill that whole thing up full of gas, you know. He'll run, sometimes he'll run it all the way out. And he'll be like, well, I got E60. <laughs> and you got to have a tune yeah, for yeah. that, you know. So, you know, a separate fuel cell with a dedicated thing would be just simple. I mean, it'd be more money, but simpler in my opinion. Oh. But, yeah, you just put the GM sensor in there, and boom, you're done. So. You just put water injection in it. Why even run a different fuel? You could just shred it. Right there. Put two nozzles right there. Oh, dude, put it right there. You got it right got there. It, got a port right there. It will cost you the same as much as Paul. Well, you unless you did the, the, the tune and the uh, sensor. Into that thing, to your computer. Yeah. yeah, you can. 
Yeah, you can time that in there. That's cool. You just fill it up. So, at least somebody is getting high tech. <laughs> yeah. Costs a lot of money to go high tech, though. I know. I'm going to be in my points and condensers forever until they quit making them. Then I'll probably have to get a Petronix. I don't know. Yeah. I think you'll drive in this thing one time and it'll be, it'll be all over. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. nah. Next, next thing's buggy anyway, so drivability doesn't matter. <laughs> next thing's buggy. All right, so technology in the